Hello everybody, welcome to one more video on big units of World War II for rapid fire rules and in 20 mm size. This time it's the uh, Ermann Göring uh, Luftwaffe uh, Panzer Division in Sicily, 1943. This division was one of the main assets that the Germans had to try to counter the ASCII operation, uh, the Allied uh, landings in, in, in Sicily. So let's see the, the, what's inside this unit. You have here uh, three tank battalions. It was a panzer regiment that was, I mean, that, was, uh, that had uh, some unique characteristics. There were some other divisions that were built on this, on this uh, model also, um, but it was relatively rare. So there was a, there was a, a battalion of, of Panzer III. This is the model M. This is one of the reasons why I why I made the the the, the um, Emmengering division because this model M has no side chosen, but more on that later. And they are so specific, a little bit to this division. There is also um, a Panzer IV, uh, also no side chosen if you see, uh, and no side chosen also on this on the Sturmgeschütz. So there are three different. Uh, Tank battalions, two are real tanks. Another one is, of course, self propulsed guns. There was also a, a reconnaissance uh, Abteilungen, a reconnaissance battalion, with four companies instead of six. Two of them never get to Sicily. There was also a, 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 an attached um, Tiger company from the 504th uh, uh, Schwer Panzer Abteilungen. I mean, I, I can say Schwer Panzer Abteilungen in German, more or less, but in fact, Saying 504 in German for me is absolutely impossible. Okay, so and then there is there is of course the infantry. You can see here three battalions because uh, there is a full regiment here, and there was uh, the, the other regiment had only one one uh, uh, battalion. Even if it had uh, like both battalion uh, both regiments had the the full uh, the full um, regimental uh, companies. Um, there is also. Some pioneers here. There's also a very, very, very destructive, very powerful um, artillery regiment with uh, with the 100 millimeter guns, with naval Werfers, with uh, two battalions of uh, 150 millimeter guns and one battalion of 105 millimeter guns. Finally, in terms of units, there was also. Uh, the usual in terms of Luftwaffe units, the usual very powerful also, um, a flak regiment. Uh, there was a part of the flak regiment, I mean, at least it was attached to the, to the Ermann Göring, which was the the, the Führer flak of Lungen, which was on these days in, in, in Berlin, in fact, where it spent most of his life, defending Berlin, the capital, from, from the Allied air raids. Uh, so these are the units, and now let's see the models. Uh, I mean, I didn't make um, many purpose-built uh, uh, Ermann Göring uh, figures or, or vehicles. Mostly figures, yes, there are plenty, as, as I'll show you, but uh, most of the vehicles are already made for other uh, divisions. And they are a mix of some of the Deutsches Afrika Corps and some late war um, vehicles. Everything is German, of course. There are also some, some Italian trucks that I, I, I placed, just because I think it, it, it was eventually possible for for Ermann Göring to have them. So let's start with with some models and some and some um, and some miniatures. So here you have the you have the the Panzers three battalion. Um, as I told you before, they are almost all of them um, Panzer three. M. These ones are uh, from uh, the printer of uh, my friend Mario Laranja in resin. I, I, I asked him to, to make exactly them like this with, with, uh, without size shorzen, which I have plenty of them for, the, for my Kursk campaign, but these ones for the Ermann Göring without size shorzen and only with uh, shorzen in the turret. Also the officer, if you, it's a PSC officer is also it also has a, a specific uh, uniform that mixes of course the the black and yellow uh, the tropical yellow. Uh, there are also some funny characteristics of these uh, of these symbols which are in fact clocks which represent the company. 
And then some stories about the numbers in which they are painted. I mean, some black on the rear, some white and black on the sides. I mean, you can find this in, 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 the, in the literature about uh, Ermen Goering division. Uh, there's also um, an Altaya Panzer 3N here, uh, coming from, from, I think, it, my idea was to make it originally for the 10th Panzer Division. I mean, still in yellow colors for, for, from the desert. So as you can see, it starts very early to show a few things that are not, of course, uh, built to be originally um, Ermen Goering. The same with this, um, with the Panzer IV Battalion. You see here a mixer of uh, Airfix and Eschi, and also some uh, some diecast over there at the end. Uh, all of them with a the characteristic, which is again, no Schurzen on the sides. It was something that the the Panzers in 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 Sicily didn't use. I suppose I'm not sure, but I suppose because of the narrow roads and narrow streets of the villages and and cities, uh, which were not very 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 apt to receive very large panzers. So I think the Germans took out the side chosen because of that. Uh, also the the, the Sturmgeschütz 3 Abteilungen, uh, mostly had, uh, had all the stuff that I built for many, many years already. Only one of them was built uh, to become a real uh, Ermann Göring uh, Sturmgeschütz, which is this one, this Stu 42. There were nine of these in the in the in the Panzer, in this uh, Panzer battalion. There were also some some specific characteristics of the Ermen Göring, which were, for instance, the the way they they locked the stowage on the back, some help of some some metals. Also, the the figure is is painted uh, distinctively, and it becomes uh, one of the few. Uh, the only one, in fact, the only model in this battalion that was purposely built for Ermann Göring. All these were built for Ermann Göring. None of these were built for Ermann Göring. One was here built for Ermann Göring. The reconnaissance is everything is 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 all the stuff. There are uh, two hundred and, uh, if I'm not mistaken, let me check. Uh, there are two hundred and thirty fours here. There are 231s, 222s also, but all come from different uh, units that if I didn't uh, show you, I will show you in the, in the future. Uh, in fact, this, this battalion only had four uh, companies instead of its uh, usual six. The two of them stayed in Italy, so it was incomplete an incomplete unit. The... the, the, the Flak uh, regiment uh, has plenty of of uh, of um, Britannia, uh, um, Azegawa, uh, and Altaya vehicles, and they, and they also come from other units. Uh, here, the few more prints by my friend Mario Laranja, some PSC uh, Pack thirty eight. Some in general, yeah, EG seventy five, some some Britannia metal figures here and here also, and here some frontline war gaming, and uh, FX. I mean the the Tiger Battalion is is a mix of uh, Azegawa and I think Altaya. Yeah. Now for the infantry, which is which was the most complex. Um, uh, unit to be made. I mean, these two, these three total of three battalions, these two regiments. Um, they are all conversions. Uh, you can you can see, for instance, enlarged trousers in these very famous Eschi uh, Africa Corps figures. Also, the the one kneeling is from the regular infantry, also with enlarged um, trousers. Uh, there are also some some side caps also uh you had to in this airfix figure of course you had to take out the peak not the peak sorry the 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 front of the of the of the feldmutze in order to become a uh, the feldmutze 34 without without uh, 
uh, the the front uh, sun protector because uh, Ermin Göring didn't use the same the same uh, Feldmutz as the famous Afrika Core or the Gabriel Schiegers or whatever. Uh, so there are plenty more conversions here, as you can see, in all battalions. And the figures are the usual matchbox, uh, uh, first to fight, uh, revel, eshi, airfix, whatever. Plenty of different uh, different models. But when grouped together, I think they become quite nice, and they make a very different uh, a very different unit. Um, a few more particularities uh, of this division, for instance, is the usage of the famous Martyr Two. These ones from uh, Main General Three D Prince. Uh, with PSC, uh, PSC crew, also Ermin Göring painted figures. There is also uh, some some special things here. For instance, like this, like the Bisons, which are there are two in the division, one for each, for each Panzer Grenadier regiment. But in fact, these were made for other units, not for the uh, Ermin Göring itself, as many weren't. Another, another Marder Sous, another, another Bison, uh, and of course the the one hundred and fifty infantry guns here and here, coupled with the seventy five millimeter infantry guns. Also, I mean, if you notice, I'm using mostly uh, SS uh, camouflaged figures for the ones that were not made to become. Ermin Göring from the beginning, and that is because, as you can see, all these uniforms here are in fact SS uh, smocks. So the the, the Ermin Göring used plenty of of the SS smocks, the different the different colors with different the different from different seasons: autumn, winter, uh, um, summer. Uh, sometimes mixed. I, I tried to to separate them by uh, by uh, by battalions. For instance, there is a more or less spring one here, there is a, a, a autumn one here. Um, but in the end, I mean, they, because of the camouflage probably, they all look much the same. Uh, so here you can see some level verfers from uh, Eshi, also some STKFC tens from uh, uh, Mario Laranja and, uh, and uh, Eshi probably. Some Altaya, 10 cm Weitzers, and then some first to fight 150 mm um, guns. These ones were made also for Ermann Goering with those blue those blue bandages on the on the sleeve. But in fact, I, then I tropicalized them a little bit so they can also join the, the Africa Corps without much of a problem. Even if the I mean if the guns are painted in a well, not properly in, in, in Deutsches Afrika Corps uh, colors. Uh, and also some, some Revel 105mm guns pulled by uh, 3D resin prints. And here are FX, more FX pulling the guns, and some Azagawa also. So this is the, this is the division almost shown. Let's go to the last one. I mean, here you can see, you can see some 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 uh, Azegawa uh, mixed with Britannia, uh, and uh, also some Altaya anti-aircraft guns and tows. So this is the division. I mean, it was a it was a composition of a number of things that already existed on the shelves, coupled with Panzer threes that are completely new, infantry that is completely new. Also some some um, 150 millimeter guns that are new. Also some Marder twos and uh, some uh, some EG 75 millimeter guns which are also new. All the rest is already seen or will be seen uh, in the future. So hope you have enjoyed this uh, new big unit, and uh, let's see what uh, is next. Most probably. The first um, armored uh, division, the United States first armored division 
for Tunisia in 1943, a little bit before this, this, uh, this um, actions or this, uh, this events that I very shortly, very briefly described to you. Okay, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Bye bye.